That was terrible. All right, let's get Life is Strange up. I heard this game is fantastic. Oh, man. I'm, it's going to take a few minutes to come down from that game. That game was not good. How? How can you defend that game? That's like a Sonic game. Like one of the 3D Sonics. Those are hot garbage, too. So buggy. But you... Those games have an appeal to them because they're so garbage and they're just adorable because it's Sonic. This game. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to rag on it too much, but oh my God. Where is... Uh... All right. Life is strange. Sorry, I have to set up a scene here. Yeah, Sonic is awesome. I want to play the originals on my Sega Genesis one of these days on stream. I think that would be fun. Alright, this is Life is Strange. As far as I know, it's some kind of, uh... It's like a puzzle-y game? Really fictional? Oh. At least I didn't have to tell this one to play it full screen. I like the music. Enhanced by playing with- Oh no, I didn't read that. Enhanced by playing with something. Don't nod. Seems like a far cry different than what we were just playing. Alright. This game is like a movie? Alright, cool. Screen size. Yep, that works. Start a new game. Make sure my options are okay. Turn that up. There we go. Alright. Bling. Yep, subtitles. We're gonna turn them on. Yes. Normal. No. English. There we go. Alright, new game. Got a little full over your camera there. I feel strange a story based on a game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions decisions will impact the past, present, future. Choose wisely. Okay. Really hope that's the case, because I get really disappointed in games that tell me that my choices affect stuff, and it doesn't. It's very Whoa! Okay, it starts off all happy and then immediately thunder. Head then, because her face didn't move. I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? Yeah, she must be thinking this. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. All right, to the lighthouse. Please let me make it there. To the lighthouse. Do I have amnesia? Because I don't know how I got here and there's like no car. Maybe I wrecked or something. Hey. Wow, the graphics are actually really neat. Whoa! That's rad! That's a screenshot. Dope. Alright, can't fall down there. That's good. Ah! Don't you dare sit on that bench with a hurricane going on. Holy shit. No problem, Serena. Lurk away. Oh, crap! Okay. 
That was oh. so surreal. I just had a dream. Little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Have you seen this one too, Sabrina? Frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you Who's in a looking dark at... corner. Is that Photoshop? Okay. A moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Wait a minute. Isn't that too easy? Why can't I look at it? Hold left mouse button, drag towards look and what release the mouse button. chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Look at this crap. Whoa. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Innocence. Okay. She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. No, I'm gonna look at this. I he haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Uh oh. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the air, but a beauty in the struggle. I'm trying to hear what you they're talking about at the same beauty. time. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photograph. I'm pretty sure it's you don't have beauty without a beast. Have you not seen Disney? Of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony, and if you haven't, if anybody else looked at this, what oh, would man. they think? This is a lot of reading. Okay, we're doing this. Buckle up, kids. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is a lot of reading. Hey, look. It says I love Seattle. Where'd it go? Yeah! There's a Kato. Alright, just turned 18. Anna! Welcome to the stream. How are you? Wow, apparently everyone likes this game. I've never played it, and this is a blind playthrough, so... Um, now that everyone's saying that they like it, I'm feeling better about the stream because the game we were just playing was Garbo. Alright, should I read this? Okay, she got accepted into Blackwell Academy. Alright, friends. This is a lot of reading. You think we should read this? What is this? Oh my- is my name Max? Oh my god, there's even more reading. Max, that's the teacher. That was the lady they got hit in the face with the paper. Victoria. I got a text message from dad! Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Oh, he gave me money. Oh, I go back. There we go. I got a message from Kate. Hey, Max, you around? Oh, is you okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Heck yeah, I love tea. Absolutely, be free after four. Talk to you later. Okay, got something for mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Warren, is this my bro? Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. Please make sure you check out Neck romantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so it'd be bust. Bust anything, we have to measure its velocity. Don't want to ruin this message. So I haven't replied to this person for quite a few days. Maybe that's an X. Read it? Okay, read all of it if you have to. I'm actually doing good. Oh, I'm good. That makes me happy to hear, Anna. The reason I'm confused why is because I broke up with my first ever boyfriend. But I've been happy all day. I don't know if that means I had a bad relationship. Probably. Like, if you're happy for getting out of a relationship, it's probably for a good reason. But I'm glad you're you're happy. That, that makes my heart happy. All right, friends. Buckle up. We're going to do some reading. Max. My name is Max. Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe in a way for me 
to be part of the world, but at least, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was drawn to an old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm a great company, right? Now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography in Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship even. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official and adult, even though I don't always feel so wise and mature, and I'm ready to begin a whole life new here. Retro camera by my side. Wait, hold on. My best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. Okay. Mr. Jefferson. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style, and, he, and he's so versatile with all his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He only wants me to enter a photo in this Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and gets national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. I forgot. Okay, this is uh, Kate. Is that her name? I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Oh, that's not okay. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit. In fact, I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would make her. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe invite her to tea or a movie. We love weights. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch already the films. Is this going to be a feels game? I don't know if I'm ready for a feels game. Right, Victoria. Oosh, I'm dreaming. Oh, shush, I'm dreaming. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite Blackwell Academy. And a total bitch, and I hate saying that. I just don't know why someone who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18 year olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving in artists and scholars. Not reality show contestants. Victoria doesn't does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund to get fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. He does everything but sit in his lap. She keeps his distance, though. Or he keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ah. Okay. So I'm guessing we're going to actually end up feeling for her. Because she's a bitch. Damn it. Is this a feels game? Too bad, babe. Feels game started. Oh! I wasn't ready for that. My mom didn't sign a per permission ship. Wow, permission ship. My mom hasn't signed the permission slip for this field trip. Uh, I would like to get off. Yep. All right, let's start over. Here we go. 2013. All right, I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave. Even though I'm reading it in a dude's voice, but I'm not going to try to do a voice this whole time. That would be very obnoxious. Even though I've never been to one, but who cares? Because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. When I first saw the word congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed 
They're so weird, but they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. All right, Maxine's adorable. August 20, no, wait, wrong buttons. Okay, July, so a little over a month. Just a half a heart here. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Um, that's where I'm going, actually. Go visit family in Seattle. Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest back in the town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. The city was made for her. When we could play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was the fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we are always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't a fable. Au contraire, now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. I study photography under Mark Jefferson. Die. Insert tears and flowers. That's adorable. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky. I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. All right, uh, a few days later, shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Yeah, that's the crappy thing about moving. Mom and dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room, though I caught mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I felt like burning all my clothes than just reading the thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my senior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe a date cute for an exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything unless I get busted. Busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Think about that is when I get scared but excited and then I don't feel like crying at all. I get angles down my arms sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. Alright. Remember this a few days later. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Phew! I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small but mine, and I never want to leave. Can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bit trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. Next day. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so much, but damn, the other started. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I peck, picked up some names like Kate Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. <laughs> and how can I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylist, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants a life here to be like her own reality TV show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the ambulance. <laughs> I don't want this day to end all. Ma Woe is Max. Oh. Restart. I don't want this day to end all. Woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture wa waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today, Mr. Jefferson's ph photography class. Die. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. Number fourth. She's changing her uh, style. I have an assload of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. 
but to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek, plus he's dark and witty. Okay, that was the dude that was texting us. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know it all. He's, we talked about photographers, and he's actually named a few that I'd never heard of. He shared numbers, and he, he'll be a good study partner, or good friend. I'll need at least one based on the clique. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us as to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking, this one class is worth all the social dysfunction. 